They are disturbing claims against a Dallas business. Two black employees say they're exposed to racist harassment and graffiti every day at work. And tonight they filed the federal lawsuit claiming management lets it continue. Jason Whiteley reports. Five up. Oh, God. Race again at the forefront in America. Confederate statues coming down. Shot. Kneeling at NFL oh, games. I just want to be treated fairly, you know, and everybody else does. Something the two African Americans say they still experience every day at work. When I first got there, they were straight up using the N word. That's Kathina Gill and Raymond Foreman. They unload and drive chemicals around at Univar near Plano Road and LBJ Freeway. It is dangerous work, not as worrisome as threats they say they face from coworkers. Now they're wearing button downs and khakis, and they might even ask you how you doing, how your family doing, but you're not getting a promotion. You're not going to get treated equal, and, and, and if you sound out, you're in trouble. The pair filed this federal lawsuit against their employer last month. Detailing racial harassment, the N-word scratched on bathroom stalls, and a monkey hanging from the ceiling in the shipping department. Nobody got in trouble for that. Nobody got in trouble for the hanging of the, uh, the monkey. Nobody got in trouble for the graffiti. You report this stuff time and time again to management, and they do nothing about it, absolutely nothing. Univar told us we value the diversity of our employees and strive to provide an inclusive environment. As a policy, it said, we do not discuss matters of pending litigation. It's not 100 years ago. This is 2017. This kind of thing is still happening in Dallas, and it needs to stop. And that's why Kathenas and Raymond hope a court might help. Right now, attorneys for Univar have yet to file any type of response to these allegations in court. In addition to punitive damages, though, these two men say they also want a court, if they win, to make their managers undergo diversity training and also monitor them to ensure there is no future discrimination. Reporting live, Jason Whiteley, Channel 8 News. All right, Jason, thank you.